Hi, welcome to Analytics for Everyone, Alteric series. I'm Prasad Belle. In this video, let us see how to create Excel-like pivot tables in Alteric. Let us take a very simple example. I have data pertaining to solar products. Column A has different solar products. Column B, the place where it is being sold. Column C, the person who is selling the product. And column D, the total sales amount. In Excel, we can build multiple pivot tables on this data. I'm showing two examples here. One pivot table with one dimension. So the pivoting is happening on the basis of zone. The second pivot is based on salesperson and zone and their respective total amount. Let's see how to build this in Alteryx. Let's open Alteryx window. Let's go to in and out tab. First thing we have to import data into Alteryx. So let me drag into data tool here onto the canvas. Let me attach data to this tool. So I need to import data from Excel file, that is sales data. I'll say, okay. So now the data has been imported to Alteryx from the Excel file, Alteryx data, and sales data, iPhone Alteryx pivot is the name of the tab. So let me just run this. So when you run this, you will be able to see the raw data at the bottom of the screen, the result window. So what is the equivalent for pivot tables in Alteryx? The answer is summarize tool. So let me drag summarize tool. Let me connect both the tools. And let me summarize this for zone. Zone being a text data or a string value, the action that I need to perform on this text should be group by. Sales amount, which is double, is a measure. The action to be performed is sum. All right, so let me just run this. This is the raw data. And after creating a pivot in Alteryx, this is the summary of each zone. So let us build the second pivot. Let me get one more summarized tool here. Let me connect that to the input data. Now, instead of one dimension, I need two dimensions. The first dimension is salesperson. As this is a dimension, it should be grouped by zone. Should be grouped by and sales amount should be sum. Then you run. So now the output of the second summary tool is what you can see here. Thank you for watching.